Not so very long ago, in the top left-hand corner of Wales, there was a railway. It wasn't a very long railway or a very important railway, but it was called the Marionith and Lanticini Rail Traction Company Limited, and it was all there was. And in the shed, in the siding, at the end of the railway, lived the locomotive of the Marionith and Lanticini Rail Traction Company Limited, which was a long name for a little engine, so his friends just called him Ivor. Now, in the morning, Jones the Steam, the engine driver, would come down over the hill. Morning, Ivor! Chumping cold this morning. He would take wooden paper and light Ivor's fire, fill up his coal box, check the water, and then, when Ivor's boy was, boy was boiling, he would make a pot of tea and sit on Ivor's step to drink it. Oh, better do some work, I suppose. Out they would trundle, out of the shed and out into the bright morning air. Jumping cold it was, too, that morning, but bright as a pin, and I have all felt glad to be alive and steaming because little engines love the cold weather. Hello, the signal was against them. Oh, here's how you do. Oh, he's not awake yet, Ivor, said Jones the steam. Give him a blow. Uh, is it early you are, Jones the steam? No, it's late you are when the signal... Pull your little lever back, we got work to do. Up went the signal. Up the hill into Slanyog Station, there's Dye Station look waiting for them. Morning, Jones. Morning, over. Morning, Dye. What have you got for us today? We bet. Oh, nothing special. We better get some coal up for Grumbly Gas Works. And this box is. Tomatoes for Mr. Davy at Taddy Gilch, and and this bag of fish for Mrs. Thomas, you know, if you wouldn't mind. I don't mind. I'll take it with, in with Ivor. I wouldn't do that. She'd want it fresh, not fried. Oh, right, then I'll put it on the coal. She can have it black. Couple of the truck for me, die. Right away, then, Jones. Bye, Ivor. Burp. Psst, koof. Psst, koof. Psst, koof. That was Ivor's favourite run. He loved to look down the valley and see the trees, the stone walls and the horses and the sheep and the big wheel of the pit spinning and far away, bright in the morning sun, the sea. Clopty, clopty, over the viaduct, past the working men's club, past the building decorator with the ladders leaning on the house and into the tunnel, the dark, damp smelling tunnel on the way to Grumbly. By the time they delivered the coal to the gasworks, it was late afternoon. And then it was time for choir practice. From the top, if you please. Oh, didn't I tell you? I've always the member of the... I've always a member of the Grum Grumbling District Choral Society. Very proud, proud they are of Ivor. It's not at all usual to have a locomotive singing first bass. It's not at all usual even in Wales. But don't they sing lovely? Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of My Hobby Hobby. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I didn't know what to do for Ivor, so I just thought I'd try and redo the entire first episode. Um, I also mixed in a bit of the book there. Um, you know, over the viaduct, past the... Uh, and through the tunnel to Grumbly. Uh, now, while I've got you... Uh, no more requests. I'm not doing any more requests. Uh, because this is all that's left of the dynamometer car. Because it it just kept frigging derailing. Over here, over there, and over there. It just kept derailing. So I've slackened off these screws to bring the track up. I've taken off the springs... And the, the, they've got them weird couplings that kind of do that as the bogeys go, which are fucking stupid. So, uh, gravity, unstoppable force, unstoppable force one. So, the dynamometer has been destroyed. So, don't go asking for that. Don't go asking for the mana class either. I'm not doing that because it keeps derailing as well, exactly the same spots. I mean, you all just saw Ivor is perfectly happy to go around, not a single derailment. And, you know, the last few locos that we've had running on the inside line 
have been absolutely fine, haven't they? So why is it certain ones derail? It's not the track, it's the locomotive. I've checked the gauging on all the wheels, I've taken out springs, I've taken off detailing, but no, still nothing. So for the time being, no more requests from any of you, okay? So I apologise to Tagger that you won't be getting the Manor Class and the Cluster Coach and the Dynamometer. Uh, you certainly won't be getting the Dynamometer. Maybe you'll get the Cluster Coaches at some point in the future, but I can't see it happening. Um, I'm going to make a list of all the locomotives that uh, derail on the inside line and try and figure out what the hell's wrong with them. I shouldn't have to take parts off them. I mean, the Manor Class, I'm sure... You saw it in the episode. It comes over here, and the tender, the front of it, derails. And then the loco driving wheels come off here. And then down here, it jumps over this set of points. And then round here, exactly the same story. Tender wheels jump, driving wheels jump. So I'm not doing any more requests because they're just so stressful. Trying to check to make sure every locomotive works. <sighs> so that's it for this video guys hope you've enjoyed it if you did like comment subscribe always much appreciated and until next time stay safe and thanks for watching